Good morning, everybody, and welcome to College Park on this beautiful Central Florida Friday. And I know I say beautiful all the time. My car is reading 74 degrees outside. And I don't know if I should be scared or grateful. So I'm going to do a mix of both because 74 we haven't seen at 8.30 in the morning for a hot minute, literally. Uh, sorry, it took me about a minute to get on because I was replying to someone's comments. Uh, I just get really surprised at the things people say from a, the safety of a keyboard. I like to call them keyboard warriors. Something that someone would type to you on a keyboard but would never in their life say to your face. Blows my mind. False sense of confidence there. Uh, so I, I reply. I am a replier. So Tuesday, our uh, mission was to come out here to college. That guy just blew the red light. Uh, was to come out here to College Park. And uh, listen, technical things happen. We could not start that stream. And uh, I'm always surprised. You know, I am. I'm a. I like to think I'm a sarcastically respectful person. Uh, and I drive our mission home via sarcasm, and it works for a lot of folks. Uh, but some of you guys say things that I, to me that I, ne I would never say to someone in, in their face uh, just because it's so disrespectful. I got called multiple names from somebody in an, in an email because I could not do the stream and they were able to hear my radio. Sorry? Come on, guys. We got better things to do. So we're here in College Park along Fairbanks and Andenson right now live here in Results 1. You can see the front cam uh, kind of streaming for you showing you just the movement of traffic. I'm parked off to the sidewalk here and College Park. Let's talk about College Park. It's located in the city of Orlando. It is a community uh, that is an old uh, old community here. Very family oriented, few high schools, few schools, uh, all predominantly residential and blowing up fast. If you live in the main area of College Park, a little further south from here, you're, you're, you're probably pretty familiar with how traffic flows and it is uh, sometimes quite a mess so uh, just recently installed some side cameras so we can check the traffic flow in there but we're going to get out and we're going to look at traffic we're going to talk about some things along this area because this is a cut through town and i feel i feel for people that live in a cut through town because you guys have to deal with residents traveling drivers traveling through and about that don't live in your community but use it as an area to get from point A to point B and B back to A. It's okay, but if you're one of these people that do travel through multiple communities, you gotta be really careful. If you don't live there and someone was traveling through your neighborhood, you'd want the same thing. So we're gonna get out, we're gonna check some of the speeds. We're sitting in a 45 zone, but it's a 35 on both ends out here leading to this 45 zone. So drivers come flying through here. I had a few drivers around 55, 56 miles an hour before we went live. Uh, so we're going to hop out, we'll walk, we'll talk, and uh, we'll see what kind of speeds we got. I have my nifty, uh, let's see, no seatbelt. Got my nifty speed detector. We'll hop on out, put some shades on. See what we got going on. So let's hop on out. Man, it is so nice outside. I don't want to do nothing. But. Making sure you guys can hear me. All right, sounds good. Way up close and personal. Let's do this. Let's hop on out. We'll chat for a little bit. So like I said, we're out here along the Andenson area, along Fairbanks. And Speed through this area is a 45 mile an hour zone. We got cars doing 47, 40, and they slow down a little bit. But as you're out here, you can tell it's all residential, 100% of it, right through this area. And this cuts through, uh, Fairbanks out here cuts through Edgewater and I-4. So you've got a lot of people headed to school, headed to work in the morning uh, through this area. And some things I've seen, heavy trucks. And every truck that I have seen through this area, that I've seen through this area already, has averaged five to seven miles an hour over 
the posted speed limit. I'm talking commercial style trucks, trucks that don't live out here, trucks that are traveling through here. And that's not cool, that's not cool. All right, so we got some vehicles headed this way. They're leaving the 35 and they are now entering the 45 zone, 50 miles an hour. We've got them at 50 here. And you can see, I'm using this. We can see the speeds as they're going through. And they're kicking up. That doesn't sound good. They want to get that looked at there, buddy. Heavy traffic. That's not too heavy. He's cooking. Let's see. 30, not bad. But a lot of people out here know seat belts, distractions, and this is a common thing that we are seeing. You know, there are so many movements about, or camp safety campaigns about eliminating distractions. And we talk about as if, oh, the distractions aren't out there. Bull, 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 bull. I see them every single day that we're out here and it's insane. Results one looking good off in the corner over there. So the light there at Andenson and the speeds are here. It's a 45 zone bordered by 235s and they're just cooking. But you do have a majority and I, I'm not saying over 50%. The problem is when you have over 10% of drivers doing in excess of the speed limit that becomes that becomes an issue 45 50 trucks always look like they're going faster 43 48 49 50 white car coming up behind it looks like they're going a little quick eh, not too bad uh, 50 white car and yeah, leaving the 35 zone so they were doing and oh I don't understand if the light is yellow way in advance why are you accelerating right that to me is a violation of traffic control device it's not telling you to speed up it's telling you to slow down so like I said we're out here at Anderson that guy that BMW that was making all that noise still trying to figure it out now driving down the road with his hazards on you gotta love this stuff. So out here, look. 52. Mr. Subaru. And then, if you notice, that maroon car had to break because the other guy slowed down and he didn't. It's all just real quick stuff. And it can happen in a moment's notice. Trying to get out of the sun here a little bit. So white Durango, 46. OPD or Sheriff's Office, 40. Good job. Fifty-two and a forty-five. Running the red. Gotta love it. No seatbelt with a child in the car, please be cautious sticker. That stuff drives me crazy. I've noticed something. Bumper stickers, you can say I'm wrong if you want. A lot of bumper stickers indicate what kind of driver you are. I know that sounds horrible, but I could really tell sometimes what kind of driver you are. Look at this, perfect speed, 44 and a 45, thank you. White car passing there, 51, oh, slowed down. So the Silver Flex, 45. Let's go move over to Princeton and we'll check out the school zone and the traffic through that area. Let's go. Look at this speeder, hold on. 55, right there. Like, I get it, it's not even a school zone, but there are signs posted. There are street lights here. There are houses within 25, 30 feet of the roadway. And there are schools on multiple angles. 
you really need a flashing sign to tell you to be careful? Like really, right? All right, let's check out this uh, flow of traffic and then we'll move on to the next because this guy looks like he's cooking. I use the word cooking. All right, 45 zone, 60 miles an hour through the area. 15 over the speed limit, probably was doing 60 in the 35 zone. Didn't even touch the brakes, doesn't even care. This group, let's check it out. 41, 40. These are good speeds here. But it's like drivers like that that fly through here and the community sees it and they get frustrated. And I can almost be willing to bet the driver doesn't even live in this community. All right, let's go check out Princeton. That stuff gets me so angry because they come out to these, you're just driving and we forget that we are affecting other people's communities when we drive through there. Whether we're driving good or not, there is an effect that happens, right? We're adding to the traffic. We're uh, contributing to uh, more cars on the road. Whether it's good or bad, traffic is influenced in certain areas. And we as drivers have to be extremely, extremely aware of that. So many people, it really makes me upset because I feel drivers, uh, we choose to drive and we treat it as a very mundane type thing, something very routine when it shouldn't be. We should not be, try, uh, we should not be treating driving as a routine thing like brushing your teeth. Brushing your teeth, unless you are a extremely violent person, is not going to hurt you. The littlest mistake while driving could kill you. And when we're in these smaller, condensed communities, that's the time to really treat driving like you're in a spaceship. And I mean that from a literal sense. You should be so aware, so cautious of what is going on around you all the time, even behind us, like I'm showing you that back camera there, of everything, because you ne just never know. So we're southbound on Edgewater here, 45 zone. We're doing well below that, about 38 miles an hour right now. Uh, coming up on Bishop Moore, uh, Edgewater and Maury. So the community of College Park is unique because it's not a municipality, it is a community. And it's half in unincorporated Orange County, and then of course half of it is in the city. So you have a lot of nice restaurants, a lot of nice stores. This guy flying, because I'm going too slow, so he wants to do like 55, 60 in the white Explorer in front of me. He even looked at me like I was dumb for doing the speed limit. But Mr. White Explorer doesn't like to use turn signals, uh, and obviously doesn't like the speed either. Maybe, maybe we can get a nice side shot of Mr. Speeder here at the traffic light when we pull up next to him here, just so we can say hi. Coming up here, right here to Maury. We're gonna get to see Mr. Speeder right here. So this is Mr. Speeder that was uh, deciding to fly really fast, not use turning signals. How you doing, sir? I love having these side cameras, y'all. So you've got to be ready because within these small communities, for example, Edgewater, southbound here, you've been two lanes, four lanes, excuse me, two north, two south for about 90% of it. But when you come back, come south to that last 10%, it slows down incredibly and you get down to only two travel lanes. There's a high school here. There's a high school and elementary, a Catholic private school right up the road. You have Jones right over here. Uh, then you have some stores, gas stations. A lot of students walk to school. You've got College Park Middle School right up the road uh, down over here. Very condensed area where a lot of drivers, like I said, I'm gonna use this term a lot, cut through this community in order to get where they need to get and you've got to be cautious for example 
I live in Seminole County currently. In order to get where I'm going, I cut through multiple towns. I don't live there, so I'm not gonna be disrespectful when I'm driving through there, right? So, gotta be very aware. We're in the uh, main kind of, com I would say business area, business area here of College Park. Got the high school off to the right here. Edgewater High School, excuse me, my apologies. Edgewater High School here in College Park. Uh, fairly smooth this morning. High school uh, starts the latest, elementary first, then middle, and uh, they'll be headed in, I believe, there shortly, if not already. But traffic not too bad out here in the city portion of Edgewater. Of course, we're going to get a little closer here in just a second to Princeton and Smith Street, south of Parr, south of Fairbanks. If you're just joining us, we were just back off of Fairbanks for a while, about 10 minutes watching the speed. There was not a single commercial vehicle that was doing the speed limit. They were all in excess of the speed limit, whether it was a dump truck, a trailer, a tractor trailer of some type, not one doing the speed limit, all five to 10 over to include in the 35 and in the 45 mile an hour zone. No excuse for that. Also, there were some drivers doing 45, 50 mile an hour in the 35 zone and then would enter the 45 zone. Just because you're going from lower to higher doesn't mean you can just keep your speed up. So the situational awareness is extremely lacking in the College Park area. Uh, you guys have a lot of other issues that we will spend another, I wanna spend one day a complete stream on golf carts. It's been a request, it's a touchy topic, but I want to spend a whole stream one day on golf carts because there are certain communities that people live in and I'm gonna have fun with this comment that because you live in the community you think oh we're we're a golf cart community we can we can do what we want no you can't and there are rules to that because you live in College Park or you live in the villages doesn't mean that you own the roads they're maintained by the city they're governed by laws of the state and just because you live in a what I like, I'd consider a nice community that has small roads. Doesn't mean you can just hop in a small transportation type vehicle, a golf cart, and drive it how you want. There are rules to that. We will spend a, uh, a day on that. Today is about the driving and speeding within College Park. So we're gonna head east here on Princeton and pull off into one of the side roads here again and see what, uh, we can see out here, get a nice little feel. Got a couple more minutes of the stream left, about five, six minutes, and we'll check it out here. But I'm glad we were able to see, especially on Fairbanks, that was the main uh, request, was to check out those speeds out there. So we're gonna come up here now, within the school zone, and uh, check this one out. This should be interesting just because it's, it's Orlando and it's Princeton and it's a cut through between Edgewater and I-4. And if you know me already, you already know, I am using the word interesting as uh, a substitute uh, instead of like tripping out. So you can see traffic does back up. Thank you to the gentleman here, not blocking the intersection. We have space for one more up, so we're gonna move up a little bit. But you can see they have the flashing lights giving you a heads up that this is an active school zone right next to Princeton Elementary School. And traffic's pretty heavy through this area. It's also decreased speed limit at this time. So 20 miles per hour is the speed out here uh, during active school zone. So we're gonna get turned around, pull off into uh, a parking spot out here and uh, check it out so we can see what's going on on how things look. East and westbound, pretty dense. Uh, it's also dense because it's slow. So you just gotta be real careful. That's the only reason it's dense out here is because the traffic is slow. Uh, normally traffic moves pretty quick. Get turned around real quick right here. So 
We're going to disengage our cruise lights and pull off to the side outside of uh, Princeton Elementary School and uh, supervise some of the traffic that is happening. All right, let's hop out again. Make sure all my stuff's running still. I wanna make sure I can show you guys some stuff. We got a couple more minutes left. All right, let's check this stuff out and see what the speeding like situation is here. So we're out here again, outside of Princeton Elementary School, checking some things out. And we are uh, just gonna monitor some of the traffic out here. See what the speeds are like. We're in a 20 mile an hour school zone. Look at this one, 33. Coming through here, 20 mile an hour zone. Got our school crossing guard over there. 20 zone, 38, not slowing down. In a 20 mile an hour active school zone. This is active. I understand the school is finished, but the crossing guard is still out here. And you have a few. So this driver here on the nose, 19, 20 miles an hour. Pickup truck driver. 40 miles an hour right here through it construction vehicle equipped 40 mile an hour through the zone makes no sense to me cars here 20 miles an hour perfect even if you don't see kids out here guys you should be extremely aware especially if you cut through this zone a lot then you're aware that there's a school zone because you encounter it often right so you should be weary of your travels. 10 over the speed limit. A school zone has zero tolerance and the speeding fines are doubled while out here. So you can see people are starting to get the message, 19 miles an hour, slowing down. I'm kind of tucked away here, so I'm not, people don't think we're running actual radar because I want a real feed feel for the speed out here and you can tell just we were out here two minutes three cars well in excess so speed limits 20 this car is doing 32 you've got rush truck service 30 miles an hour in a 20 zone this vehicle here still cruising very nicely at 12 miles an hour so a lot of drivers majority of them see it but the ones that are not guys excessive 10 15 miles over within the school zone. To me, that's kind of crazy. If you're traveling by the schools and all this stuff, a little insane. Here, they obey, got the crossing guard out, gonna cross someone over. And even if it's not a student, if the crossing guard comes out, you have to obey the crossing guard. Even if it's not a student. They're out here to cross anybody at any time who wants to get off at least while they're here. So you've got to be weary of this. There's plenty of signage in this area leading up to the school zone, letting you know, hey, the speed limit slows and you've got to be careful. We're going to spend about another minute out here and then we'll wrap this up and jump inside the truck. The light's getting ready to turn green and uh, drivers continue through. Again, the school zone out here is 20 miles per hour. We've had one vehicle already, a construction vehicle doing 40 miles an hour. We've had uh, drivers well in excess of 10, 15 plus through the school zone. Zero tolerance in the school zone for stuff like this. And part of why we're doing this is just to make you aware. People are like, oh, people aren't doing that, Steve. Well, I'm showing you it's happening. Here, 20 miles an hour. Thank you. Good job. 20 miles an hour, nice and smooth. White truck going away, 30 miles an hour. So is there issues out here? Yeah, but you gotta remember, the crossing guard's the person that's gotta deal with this. I get frustrated, I know, but it's just unnecessary. All right, let's get back in the truck.
All my all audio, my just, audio went just went. Man, I'm back. Sorry. So we saw this stuff off of Princeton. Here where we're at, speed limits aggressive. 10, 15, 20 miles an hour over the speed limit in a school zone. And then on the complaint of Fairbanks, there wasn't a single commercial vehicle doing the speed limit. If you live here, don't do it. And if you're traveling through here, you need to be respectful. You would not want someone traveling like this through your community. So thanks for joining me on this Friday here in College Park. Beautiful day. Uh, join into New 6 at 9 coming up next.